Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. I will be driving through the city of Gaston, Alabama on this video. It is located in Etowah County, which is an hour northeast of Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, Gaston is on the northeast corner of the state of Alabama. The population here is 34,816 people. The city has been losing people at a rate of 3.6% as of the 2020 census. And the population peaked out at 58,088 people back in 1960. And the city has been losing people since the 1970 census. Now, the crime in this city, eh, well, it's quite high. For violent crime, you got 60.4. The national average is 22.7. And, you know, and I'm going to remind you again, as I do on every video that I've been making to where I discuss crime. Uh, I typically go to betterplaces.com to get my data when it comes to crime. And on that particular website, uh, he uses a, a, a point system when measuring crime. Now, the higher the number, higher the crime. Lower the number, lower the crime. So, yeah, it's... The violent crime here is much higher than, than uh, national average. It's 60.4. National average is only 22.7. I mean, obviously, it's not the highest in the world, but it's not exactly good either. Now, property crime is even worse. Property crime is 95.2. So the probability of your car being broken into or your if you know or your kid's bicycle being stolen is going to be fairly high here and the national average for violent crime is 35.4 now as you guys can see i mean you know this city it's you know it's i think the landscape of this city is decent i mean you do got some areas that are the area that i just drove through a minute ago i mean you do got some areas that are full of trees and nature now with this city i mean i've heard a few things about this city that weren't so good and according to the data that I just read, apparently this city does have an issue with crime. Now, just like I said about my Best Morale Alabama video, I was under the assumption that when I came out here that I would see another resemblance of maybe a Selma, Alabama. No disrespect to Selma. But I'm just using Selma as an example. But when I came out here, I mean, I don't think, I mean, I don't think the city looks that bad, to be honest with you people. I don't think the city looks that bad. I mean, I would say this city has potential of bouncing back to its more glorious days. Now, as I've told you on videos that I made in the past, and I've told you on plenty of videos I made in the past, I do not like to go off of crime data specifically when looking for a place to move to or even putting my judgment on a place. I prefer to talk to a few of the locals about the area 
because as I've told you before, when it comes to crime, the, I mean, if, this, if the crime numbers are high, typically the majority of that crime is going to be condensed to certain neighborhoods, which is why I tell you, whenever you look for a place to live, it's always a good idea to take the time and to speak to a few locals in the, in the area. And this should go without saying, but never talk to your real estate agent about where you should live. Either A, they're going to lie to you, or B, they're going to withhold the truth and they're going to use the clause of they're not allowed to steer, they're not allowed to give any specific areas of what areas might be dangerous and things of that nature. So, whenever you're looking to get some information, some accurate information in terms of where in the city you want to live, it's always good to talk to a local. Stay away from realtors. Stay away from politicians. And I would even stay away from anyone that owns a large business in the area. Because even those people could have motives to not tell you the, the truth. I mean, your best bet would be to maybe go to your local grocery store, go to your lo go to the local grocery store or gas station and, and speak to one of those people. Or if you're or if you're brazen enough, you can even approach somebody that might be outside working in the yard or working on their vehicle and ask them about the area. That would be your best bet. Now the racial makeup here is fifty six point 3% W, 34.7% B, 0.9% A, and 6% H. Now, if you want to move to this city and purchase a home, uh, the median home price is at $68,000. However, if you want to buy anything that's half decent in a half decent section of the city, I wouldn't look at anything below $110,000. <clears> now, if you're just looking to rent, the medium rent price for a studio apartment is $430 a month. Uh, it will be $558 a month for a two bedroom, and it will be $762 a month for a four bedroom. So I would say for the most part, housing prices here aren't too bad. Either is your price of rent. Now, as far as it goes for some entertainment, I mean, there's plenty to do in this city. In fact, when I looked, when I looked at the list of things to do, there was 30 different things to do, according to TripAdvisor. I'm not going to read you all 30, all 30. I'm going to just read you a few of them. Now, when, now uh, for starters, you got the Neely Henry Lake. You can go to Neely Henry Lake, go fishing. You know, take a walk around that little trail they got. I don't know if they have any type of kayaking or canoeing in that lake. I'm not sure. If you have a taste for beer, you can go to the Back 40 Beer Company. They got the Neely Henry Lake. Well, yeah, I always, always said that. They do have a cultural arts museum. It's called the Mary G. Hand. No, the Mary G. Harding Center for Cultural Arts. If you're into if you're into artwork. And there's a small mall here. It's called the Gaston Mall. It's a smaller mall. Nothing, you know, nothing real fancy or exciting. Then they got the Gaston Museum of Art. 
and they also got the Greater Gaston Area Tourism Center. So if you want to get a better idea of other things to do in Gaston or in the surrounding areas, you can go to the Greater Gaston Area uh, Tourism Center. And if you want to have a little bit of fun and burn off a few calories, and if you got children, you know, they can bring off some energy, you can go to what they call the factory. And basically, the, it's, a, it's a game and entertainment center. And it's basically a game of entertainment center, but they call it the factory. And there's also the Gad Rock Micro Gym, which is another game of entertainment center. There's also the theater of Gaston you can go visit. And of course, there's several different parks with, throughout the city of Gaston and the surrounding Gaston area. And you also got the Twin Bridge Golf Club for those of you that enjoy playing golf. Now, as far as a few, uh, now as far as a little bit of general information and history about the city. Uh, this city used to be a village called the Double Springs. Now this city was founded in 1825 by John Riley, a mixed race American Indian and a European American. Now these two settlers built their houses near the two springs. Now due to the reconstructing of the railroad industry, most of Gaston's major industries closed in the 1970s and 80s. I mean, you know, similar history to what happened up in places like Cleveland, you know, during the 1980s, you know, there is a major bust in the steel in the steel industry, causing this city to lose jobs due to the redevelopment efforts, such as the Cultural Arts Center in the downtown redevelopment center. I mean, in, in a downtown, I'm sorry, in a, in a downtown, yeah, redevelopment, the city was rewarded first place livability in 2000. Now, according to uh, my research, uh, underemployment in this city still remains to be an issue today. Oh, and the city was named after James Gaston. Now, like I said, when I was driving through the city, I mean, I don't think this is a bad looking city. I'm not, I mean, you know, as I would say about a city like this, I mean, there's always going to be room for some improvement. But I would say if you're looking to live uh, not far from Birmingham, like within an hour of Birmingham. I mean, I would say and you're looking for your cost of living to be low. And you're looking for a city that has a little bit to do. You're not going to be somewhere in the middle of nowhere with no amenities and nothing to do. I would say come out, you know, check out this city. 
talk to a few of the locals they you know who can tell you where to go where not to go in terms of the in terms of the crime they can you know if you got some money they can probably guide you the right direction when it comes to some of the better neighborhoods like if you're like if you don't have the money to move to let's say Hoover or one of the more expensive suburbs of Birmingham you can come out here and find you a neighborhood that's you know that's similar to some of the areas that you might find in the Birmingham suburbs except for about except for tens and thousands of dollars cheaper but to me, you know, this city, it, you know, it's, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of Anderson, Indiana. I mean, this city reminds me a little bit of Anderson, Indiana. It doesn't seem like a bad place to live. Now, I will say the crime here is, uh, is a lot higher than Anderson. But other than that, like I said, that's why you need to come here and talk to some of your locals. Now, maybe when you speak to some of your locals, they might tell you that this is a terrible place to live. The crime is out of control. Now, if you hear that over and over and over again, then, you know, you might not want to move here. But I'm just going off of the data that I've researched when it comes to the crime. So I'm not going to sit here and claim I know everything there is to know about this city because I don't. I just went online and did some research and drove around and threw this video together for you guys to watch and hopefully learn something. And for those of you that are from the area, you know the area, uh, leave a comment below and give us some insight of stuff that might be helpful to someone that wants to come out here and live or even visit. All right, folks, I'm done talking, I'm checking out. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. And I just got one little request for you. Well, I got a few of them. Request number one, in the comment section, let me know rather or rather not you would prefer me to include music in my videos I, I mean I've had a few people tell me they rather not have music they rather just hear the traffic as opposed to music so let me know how you feel about that and of course if you like what you see you know help the YouTube algorithm on this video and on my channel and give me some thumbs up If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing that as well. And on that note, enjoy the rest of this video. And I apologize for the sun glare, but there is not anything I can do about it. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you guys on the next video. Everybody have a blessed one.